the holy grail of a perfectly sustainable fuel cell may still be within reach of automotive technology. Still, the quest to get there has already produced surprising outcomes as climate change wreaks havoc on the environment. When combustion engines are no longer used, a gooey hydrogen paste may take their place as the ultimate power source, defeating all other fuels rather than the traditional lithium-ion batteries. Yes, a brand new groundbreaking hydrogen power paste is generating a lot of attention. To learn more, watch this video through to the very end. Although hydrogen has a lot of potential as a renewable energy source, there are still a lot of obstacles to be removed before it can be considered a viable choice for vehicles and trucks. Storage and fuel delivery are two of these main problems, particularly when big, high-pressure containers are not possible. Power Paste, a novel invention created by a research team at the Fraunhofer Institute for Manufacturing Technology and Advanced Materials in Dresden, Germany, may provide the answers to these queries. The institute states that the ingredients in power paste are magnesium hydride produced when magnesium power and hydrogen are mixed and ester and a metal salt. The paste is forced out of its container with a plunger, water is added and hydrogen is liberated. The magnesium hydride releases half of the hydrogen and the water provides the other half. The produced hydrogen can then be used in a fuel cell to produce power. Power paste and water can purportedly hold more hydrogen than typical high-pressure tanks and is 10 times denser than current batteries because both components of the mixture release hydrogen. Additionally, since the paste and the necessary water can be transported easily in cartridges or cylinders and don't represent a risk in high temperatures, little infrastructure is required to keep the fuel source accessible to potential customers. Power paste is an intriguing possibility for cars, delivery trucks and range adapters in battery-powered electric vehicles due to its enormous energy storage density. Similar to small drones, it might also dramatically increase the flying time of large drones, allowing them to operate for several hours instead of just 20 minutes. This would be extremely helpful for land surveying such as the examination of forests or power lines. Campers could also use power paste inside a fuel cell as an alternative application to create electricity for a toaster or coffee maker. Power paste has another benefit besides offering a broad operating range. It does not need expensive infrastructure in contrast to gaseous hydrogen. It is therefore perfect for places without such a system or infrastructure. Therefore, conventional fueling stations might sell power paste in cartridges or canisters in areas without hydrogen stations. It is possible to pump the fluid paste. Therefore, it can be supplied by a typical filling line utilizing reasonably priced machinery. Filling stations might first provide modest amounts of power paste, such as from a metal drum, and subsequently increase their capacity in response to demand. Due to the absence of expensive high-pressure tanks and a need for highly chilly liquid hydrogen, power paste is also less expensive to transport. The Fraunhofer Institute intends to start a production facility to create up to 4 tons of fuel annually this year. It believes electric motorcycles and scooters make the best initial tests for its power paste. The researchers suggest that power paste might be helpful for other industries most likely including the automotive industry, if that is effective and everything turns out as they want. Of course, there are still challenges of hydrogen, the biggest of which is finding an effective means to capture hydrogen in the first place. Nevertheless, we are sure that researchers are also striving to find answers to those issues. Overall, we can say that the idea is definitely workable, but the issue of making H2 economical and environmentally friendly still exists. Utilizing coal as it was 100 years ago is irrational, and electrolysis is highly inefficient. Let's see what's coming up in the future for us.